नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन दिस चैप्टर काइनेटिक थेरी ऑफ गैसेस एंड रेडिएशन इज ए स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेवलेंथ दैट इज द स्पेक्ट्रल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन दैट इज द ग्राफ ऑफ एनर्जी इन द रेडिएशन अगेंस्ट द वेवलेंथ ऑफ रेडिएशन वी हैव स्टडीड दैट ए परफेक्टली ब्लैक बॉडी कैन एब्सॉर्ब द हीट रेडिएशन ऑफ ऑल वेवलेंथ विच इंसिडेंट अपॉन इट एंड देअर फोर इट कैन इमिट्स द हीट रेडिएशन ऑफ ऑल वेवलेंथ और एनी बॉडी कैन इमिट्स द रेडिएशन ऑफ दोज वेवलेंथ विच इट कैन एब्सॉर्ब when it is cooled and as the perfectly black body can absorbs all the radiations of all wavelength it can emits the radiations of all wavelength to study distribution of energy in the different wavelength range the scientist lumer and prinzheim measures the intensity of radiation that is the energy per unit time per unit area in the radiations of different wavelength emitted by a body a perfectly black body at different fixed or constant temperature and they plotted the graph of intensity of radiation that is emissive power e lambda ki va radiant power against the wavelength of radiation lambda at different temperatures and his experimental observation shows that the energy emitted by the body depends only on the absolute temperature capital t of the black body absolute temperature that is the temperature in unit kelvin and it is independent on the material of a body then this is the graph showing radiant power of a black body per unit time against the wavelength ki va radiant power as a function of wavelength radiant power on y axis and wavelength lambda along x axis and different temperatures at higher temperatures like 3000 kelvin 4000 kelvin 5000 kelvin and 5000 500 kelvin then the nature of graph is curve and it is same at all temperatures and then the conclusion from this graph is the experimental observation from this graph it is observed that the energy distribution that is radiant power is not uniform at all wavelength of radiation the nature of graph is curve the graph cha nature is horizontal straight line asto तर सर्व वेवलेंथमध्ये सारखीच एनर्जी असली असती परंतु नेचर ऑफ ग्राफ कर्व आहे यावरून आपल्याला समजतं की एनर्जी डिस्ट्रीब्युशन किंवा रेडियंट पॉवर इज नॉट युनिफॉर्म इन ऑल वेवलेंथ ऑफ रेडिएशन इमिटेड बाय द ब्लॅक बॉडी मग आता हे एनर्जी डिस्ट्रीब्युशन कसं आहे वेवलेंथ वाढत गेली कि एनर्जी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वाढ़ते कि वा कमी होते कभी कमी होते हे अपना हा ग्राफ नेचर वरुण संगता फ्रॉम दिस ग्राफ फर्स्ट कन्क्लूजन इज एनर्जी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज नॉट यूनिफॉर्म इन ऑल वेवलेंथ देन सेकंड इज इफ द वेवलेंथ इन्क्रीजेस फ्रॉम ए स्मॉल वैल्यू देन द रेडियंट पॉवर इन टर्म्स ऑफ दैट वेवलेंथ that is energy distributed energy in that wavelength increases initially 
ॲज द वेवलेंथ इन्क्रीजेस द एनर्जी किंवा इंटेन्सिटी ऑफ रेडिएशन ॲल्सो इन्क्रीजेस द इंटेन्सिटी रिचेस ए मॅक्झिमम व्हॅल्यू ॲट पर्टिक्युलर वेवलेंथ अँड पर्टिक्युलर वेवलेंथ डिनोटेड बाय लेटर लॅमडा एम अँड बियॉंड दॅट पर्टिक्युलर वेवलेंथ लॅमडा एम the intensity of radiation that is energy decreases energy goes on decreases as the wavelength increases then next conclusion is area under the each curve represents the total energy emitted by the body at that temperature and therefore total energy emitted per unit time per unit area that is the radiant power and as the temperature increases from this graph it is seen that as the temperature increases the area under the curve also increases that is the radiant power increases as the temperature increases then the peak of the curve peak of the curve shifts towards the left that is smaller value of wavelength the peak of the each curve shifts towards the left that is towards the smaller value of wavelength and this value of wavelength lambda m lambda max at which the radiant power is maximum the wavelength lambda m kiwa lambda max is the wavelength corresponding to maximum radiant power and as the temperature increases the value of lambda max decreases as the temperature increases the peak of the curve shifts towards the left that is smaller value of lambda and therefore the value of lambda max for which the radiant power is maximum decreases as the temperature increases and this is this relation between lambda max and absolute temperature capital t of a black body gives the uh, law called as wins displacement law and at higher temperature as the temperature increases the radiant power that is the total energy emitted per unit time per unit area also increases for all wavelength total energy for all wavelength also increases this is the conclusion from the graph attach apan pahilelo intensity of emitted radiation that is radiant power increases with the increase in wavelength of radiation it becomes maximum at a particular wavelength lambda max and again it decreases with the further increase in wavelength beyond lambda max area under the curve e lambda versus lambda represents the total energy emitted per unit time per unit area energy distribution is not uniform in all wavelength if the temperature of a body increases then the total energy emitted also increases and as the temperature increases the peak of the curve shifts towards the left that is towards the shorter wavelength as the temperature increases the peak shifts towards the left for example at a temperature t1 value of lambda max is lambda m1 at a temperature t2 higher temperature t2 the value of lambda max is lambda m2 like this 
and as the temperature increases the value of lambda max decreases that is the lambda max is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature this relation is called as wind's displacement law which states that the wavelength lambda max for which the intensity of radiation that is the emissive power of black body the wavelength lambda max for which the intensity that is the emissive power of a black body is maximum is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature of the black body denoted by letter capital t therefore lambda max is proportional to 1 upon t therefore lambda max is equal to constant b into 1 upon t kiwa lambda max into t is equal to b here constant b is called as wins constant and value of b is 2.898 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter into kelvin thus using this equation 1 the value of wind's constant b is constant and knowing the value of lambda max emitted by the black body the absolute temperature of black body can be determined sun is a perfectly black body and therefore measuring the value of lambda max wavelength of maximum intensity emitted by the sun and using this wind's displacement law the absolute temperature of sun can be determined and it is found found to be uh, 5800 kelvin and thus this law is useful to determine high temperature of distant stars like sun moon and this law explains that the color of heated body changes from red to yellow and then white as the temperature of a heated body increases initially when we start the body heating initially temperature is less temperature is slowly increases and initially its color is red temperature is uh, wavelength of red color is maximum and temperature is less therefore its color appears to be red lambda max red color then yellow and finally white kiwa ekhadya body cha temperature jar कलर आणि टेम्परेचर यांचं रिलेशन आपल्याला सांगता येईल विन्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट लॉ स्टेट्स दॅट वेवलेंथ फॉर विच इमिसिव्ह पॉवर ऑफ ए ब्लॅक बॉडी इज मॅक्झिमम इज इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू द ॲब्सुलूट टेम्परेचर ऑफ ए ब्लॅक बॉडी लॅमडा मॅक्स इज प्रपोर्शनल टू टी and constant b is called as wind's constant whose value is 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter if the temperature color of a heated body is white then its temperature is large about 10000 kelvin and if color is red then its temperature is less wavelength the max therefore temperature is minimum 300 kelvin then we solve some simple example in your book calculate the value of lambda max for solar radiation assuming that surface temperature of the sun is 5800 kelvin b is equal to 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter into kelvin in which part of the electromagnetic spectrum 
does this value lie lies given absolute temperature capital t ki kimmat kelvin madhes dileli ahe jar centigrade madhe dili asel tar tumhala 273 milvun सेंटीग्रेड मधली किमत केलवीन मधे कन्वर्ट करूँ घेल बी ची कि दिल्ली है आमडा मैक्स कैलक्युलेट कराए लैमडा मैक्स इज इक्वल टू फॉर्म्यूला है बी अपॉन टी बी ची कि सब्स्टिट्यूट के लिए टी ची कि कैलक्युलेशन करूँ अंदाजेपन अपना कैलक्युलेशन करता है टू पॉइंट एट नाइंटी सेवन दाचे घातक एकत्रित का फाइव पॉइंट एट घ तो इन टू टेन रेस टू थ्री होल वरती घी मैनस थ्री मे मैनस सिक्स एकत्रित होती टू पॉइंट एट डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव पॉइंट एट आता टू पॉइंट एट नाइंटी सेवन मजे एट नाइंटी सेवन फाइव पॉइंट एट नाइंटी सेवन टू 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 पॉइंट एट नाइंटी म्हणजे पॉईंट फायू इंटू टेन रेस टू मायनस सिक्स म्हणजे फायू इंटू टेन रेस टू मायनस सेवन अंदाजे तेच उत्तर आलेलं आहे फोर पॉईंट नाईन नाईन फायू म्हणजे ॲप्रॉक्झिमेटली फायू इंटू टेन रेस टू मायनस सेवन मीटर दॅट इज फायू थाउजंड अँडस्ट्रम युनिट आणि फायू थाउजंड अँडस्ट्रम युनिट इज इन द व्हिजिबल रेंज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमॅग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम विजिबल रेंज इज रेड टू हॉयलेट रेड एट थाउजंड डिग्री एनस्ट्रम टू फोर थाउजंड डिग्री एनस्ट्रम देअर फोर अशा प्रकारे आपल्याला एक्झाम्पल्स सोडवता येतील वेगवेगळे किंवा लॅम टी वन टी टू दोन टेम्परेचर दिले असतील आणि लॅमडा एम वन लॅमडा एम टू ह्या चारमधलं रिलेशनही आपल्याला लिहिता येईल लॅमडा एम वन अपॉन लॅमडा एम टू इज इक्वल टू T2 टू अपॉन टी वन होईल इन्व्हर्सली प्रपोशनल असल्यामुळे उलट टी टू अपॉन टी वन चारपैकी कोणत्याही तीन किमती दिल्या असतील तर राहिलेली चौथी किंमत आपल्याला कॅल्क्युलेट करता येईल थँक्यू